Hello and welcome dear students. I hope you all are doing good. This is me Aisha Nazeer teaching you better English literacy skills for grade 5. This is your lecture number 6 and in the previous 5 lectures we have done all of our book work plus uh, lesson reading and explanation. And in today's video we have started the work of our notebook but remember one thing for the written work you have to use your rough notebook not your neat notebook i'm repeating it again you have to use your rough notebook now what will you do you will take out your rough notebook specify one note uh, rough notebook for your english work divide your rough notebook into two halves first half is for english a and make a triangle for the second half and write down English B over it. We will do our English A work on English A half <coughs> and B work on English B half. So today in this video we are doing our English A work and all of you know we start our English A or any uh, notebook work with course content but we are not uh, going to do course content. We are going to start with our writing pattern. So this is our writing pattern now what will you do you will open your notebook rough notebook leave one page and on the next page with blue marker i have used here black marker and black pen but you have to use blue marker and blue ink pen you will give the heading of english a with marker on top of your page date is not necessary then what will you do you will give you will draw margin lines here on two side but in your notebook you have to uh, draw it on one side like this okay and then you will make i have made here three columns you can make four columns because your notebook size would be a little smaller than this so make four columns on your notebook now look at this writing pattern you have to write the writing pattern with marker and with bold letters bold letters means here you have to write it with capital letters and look at the formation of capital letters all the letters should be of equal size look at here writing pattern clearly visible give a little little space between your letters so it will be more clear then and underline your every heading each and every heading should be underlined with pencil then c capital a small a and uh, two capital z small c we are doing both capital and small letters look at the first one a small a look at here is a small tail of a small a b and small b look at the formation of small b this should be a little longer okay then c both c are similar one is capital and one is small look at the formation of d small d this should be a little longer look at the formation of e and small e i am writing small e here again so it would be more clear to you look it is like c and then make a small cut just like this you have to write it okay this is the perfect formation of e now look at the formation of f small f and uh, capital f and small f next one is g look at the formation of g and small g small g look at here this should be touching the ground line and then you have to turn it like this h small h this line should be a little longer i and small i j it should touch the ground line and it should come beneath the ground line look at the formation of k capital k and small k l capital n and small is just a single line look at the formation of m three lakhs should be equal in capital letter and both in capital and in small letters 
Look at the formation of N. Capital N, small n. O. They are both are similar. One is capital, one is small. Look at the formation of P. Capital N, small. Look at the formation of Q. Capital Q, it should be like this. And small Q. Look at the formation of small Q. It should be straight. And do not give this much space between them. Keep it close. Like this. Look at the formation of R, capital R and small r. This R formation is not correct in our letter formation. R should be like this. Then S, both are similar. One is capital, one is small. Look at the formation of T. Now one thing you should notice, T should not be like this. It should be smart like this. Next is U. Look at the formation of U. There is no tail in a capital U, but in small u, there is a small tail. Look at the formation of V. Both are similar. One is capital, one is small. Look at the formation of then W. Three lakhs should be equal. X. Both are similar. One is capital, one is small. Then C. Y. Capital Y. Small Y. And Z, capital Z, small z, both are equal. So look at the formation. We have done it. You have to follow the exact same pattern. If you have a perfect cursive writing, then you can write in your own style. But script writing is always best because it is more clearer, more uh, understandable for everyone. So if you have a perfect uh, cursive writing, you can use your own writing, carry it. And uh, if not, then you have to follow this pattern. So this is our writing pattern A to Z. Thank you.